this is an unboxing of a, a cleaning fluid from butter so I will open it and just see how it is this is good for lenses I don't know you can use it uh, propylene alcohol you can use with the uh, uh, silver or aluminum coated mirrors I'm not sure about this one they have told no but we will see let's open it first it comes with this uh, uh, cloth that cloth is around five pound itself then comes with this uh, lens cleaning stuff which is uh, 11 pound optical wonder I bought it from first light optics let me check yeah first light optics in the Exeter so they are very quick actually two days that's the optical wonder other optical wonder uh, fine optical cleaning fluid so I have a um, to several uh, refractors that I want to actually clean with this it's practically alcohol it's, it stops fungi so alcohol may do that so propylene alcohol will do it normal ethanol will do that and uh, no acetone acetone will dissolve actually if it is made of uh, any plastic material or polymers and uh, that's it uh, it's, it is in this fluid is in here 100 milliliter it is this is a spray part of it which you have to put inside it and use it. I'm going to use it on a telescope that I have. This is my Sky Watcher 102, Sky Travel 102 millimeter. That's four inch uh, telescope. There's a lens cap. I'm removing it. This is the lens. I thought I saw something which may be the initial stages of fungal growth. So I'm just trying to clean it to see what will happen if it is outside surfaces. I remove the the shield here and we go Let's see the lens and i noticed that when i was removing this uh, dew shield i noticed that the whole lens was also twisting so probably i can do the other side of it but i will not risk it i'll just do first this side so this is the spray butter optical wonder and this is the lens now let me spray Okay, one layer, one puff was enough. So I'm going to use that uh, cleaner just to clean it. Oh, really looks nice, this fabric. Okay. Moving gently across the surface. Hmm. It's clean. As far as you can see, it's clean. Decided to op open the lens completely and just do the other side of it also, if it needs, of course. Let me just blow some air. It doesn't have any bad thing here in this side. I just just uh, use a blower just to see how it will affect it. A blower again from China, and I just blow some air. I don't think the roof it has ever been opened. I don't see anything inside this. And what I thought I saw as a fungi is probably gone, nothing here. The lens is perfectly clean now. Now I'm going to put it back on the telescope. For that, it's a good opportunity to see the baffles and the uh, light stops inside the tube. Quite impressive stops. And uh, yeah, that's nice. Better than what I thought. Oh, I'm quite impressed by the ease of use of this uh, um, cleaning of this telescope you put the lens assembly can be screwed everything inside is nice the color look at this glittery color they're very beautiful and they have been built to be easy maintained and at the same time easy to work with okay I'm now going to put the um, dew shield in on it as you can see the dew shield has also some felt around it I'm going to blow some air into this and clean it also Okay, I'll put this now back. Let me have a look before putting the lens cap on. 
and I use the eye push just to see how it is. Sharp. That is what we have to call Chinese technology. Best image quality. Forget about the Japanese telescopes or American telescopes. China is the next best. Or is the first best. I recommend the Bother Optical Wonder. Yes, definitely. It's a good one. It didn't use much of the um, spray also. Yeah, definitely. Um, a few puff was enough for this old telescope. And, uh, yeah. If you get it, get this also. This coat also is very nice. You can wash it with the, softly, gently with the, some soap or liquid soap. And dry it and it will be as good as new.